everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and create a new little uh, packing must-haves what's in my carry-on series of videos for you guys for traveling. Uh, it has been a long time since I've done any sort of video like this, you guys, because of the pandemic and because of the lockdowns and because of this and that. And some things have changed in cruising, especially. And some of the things I take have changed. Now, you will see, for those of you who've been following me for a long time, you will see some repeats and you will see me talking about much the same thing. But at least it will be updated. And, you know, it'll be how my hair is now and the weight I am now, goodness knows. Thanks to the whatever, you know. I uh, can't blame anybody but myself on that. But regardless, uh, I, I am 60 years old now. And things have, you know, kind of uh, evolved for me in the packing world, so to speak. I don't pack as, uh, you're going to laugh at me when I say this, but, you know, I'm certainly not a minimalist. And I certainly don't try to fit everything in a carry-on. That's just not who I am. So you might want to click on out of here if that's not what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about the little things. The little things that help make my cruising, especially my cruising uh, trips, better for me, you know? So today's video is going to be all about my must-haves, my cruising must-haves. Chris and I are fixing to go on an Alaskan cruise, which we haven't done since 2019. I miss it. I'm yearning for it. And I cannot wait to go. We will be going in September. And I cannot wait to go. I am doing this now. I know this thing. Well, if you're not going to September, why in the world are you doing this in July, Arlen? Well, because we're going to be having a pool put in here in a few weeks. And I'm going to be chronicling that on my Ireland's Country Craft Corner channel. Uh, and then in August, I'm going to be doing my fall decorating on my Ireland's Country Craft Corner channel. So uh, I want to get these travel videos, these little brass tacks, if you will, travel videos in the can and up on my channels so that I can refer to them. Uh, when I'm in my cruising groups, you know, I'm, I'm a member, I'm a member of many of my cruising groups. I have kind of given up my admin hat just because my YouTube channel got so busy, my other YouTube channel. Uh, and, uh, so I, but I'm still a group expert, you know, in a couple and I'm in many cruising groups where people ask me, you know, to share my tips and tricks. So, uh, I will, there will be at least three videos in this little series. The first one today, as I said, will be my cruising must-haves. Uh, I'll put up another, maybe one or maybe two videos this week. Uh, one about my packing tips and tricks and one about what's in my carry-on, where I will also show you the carry-on bags that I've used throughout the years, some tips and tricks about other bags that I take with me to handle any overflow when we're coming home and so on and so forth. But for today's video, we're going to get out get down to some brass tacks. Uh, you will see a good bit of Vera Bradley in my packing videos, just because I love uh, my Vera for packing. I hardly ever use them as purses anymore. I will use a wallet now and again in other kinds of purses, but I love a Vera Bradley cosmetic bag. This is a grand cosmetic bag with handles. You cannot find these on the Vera site anymore. You need to go to eBay if you want. Uh, if I can find whatever links I can find, I will put in the description as far as the Vera bags are concerned. Uh, I do have an Amazon storefront now, you guys, that uh, I do make a, a small amount of money on. Uh, you know, if you purchase any of the little items that I put in there, I've got a whole uh, gift idea box that is nothing but uh, traveling gadgets and gizmos, I believe. And that's where I will link all of the stuff that I'm going to show you today. So let's get started. Uh, cruising is a little bit of a different animal for me. I really had to learn how to hone my, my, my packing from the very start of when we first started to cruise because you just simply can't take as much. Well, I don't feel like you can take as much on a cruise. Although I've seen people show up with suitcase upon suitcase upon suitcase. I don't care to do that, you guys. I really just want what's going to make my 
vacation, what's going to enhance my vacation. So I'm going to talk about three main, uh, I take three of these bags and I, I, I have three of them. They're all old patterns and they've, they're bags that I've had throughout the years. I washed these in the washing machine and dried them last night in my dryer. And look at this, look how pretty and vibrant they all, they just turned out to be so pretty still. Uh, I am also going to talk about a couple of other little bags and little items that I take here and I'll, and I'll uh, explain why I take them. First of all, this is actually something that will go in my carry-on, uh, but I wanted to tell, I'll probably tell you about this in both the carry-on video and in this one. Uh, this is the holder of my medallion clips. I am a princess cruiser and these clips clip right on to my lapel. You can put it on your belt. You can put it on your sleeve. You could even put it on your necklace if you wanted to. I won't do that, but uh, they, once you clip them on, they stay. They don't move. They don't go anywhere. And they are the holder of your little medallion. Here is what a medallion looks like. Now, Princess Cruises have uh, all of their sh all of their ships are now medallion class ships, meaning that this little this little jobby right here is your magic weapon. It opens your door, unlocks your door. It's what you scan to pay for everything on the ship and will be put onto your portfolio. It's uh, how you get on and off the ship. How they keep track of you. You can look for your. Uh, you can look for your friends and family. You can book your dining reservations. You can do a bunch of stuff, which I'm not going to go into any more detail than just that on here. But there are several different uh, little things that you can order through the Medallion Class app uh, to different ways you can wear your medallion. I choose the clip because I think that is the most convenient for me. I don't care to wear a lanyard anymore. I would always be hitting my chair, getting it stuck on the table when I went to get up, you know, how I carried my cruise card. They will send you a complimentary lanyard with your medallion, but through the Medallion Class app, you can order your medallion before you cruise and they give you other choices. You can get them in, you can buy necklaces that they would seed into these little, um, they're, it's like a little magnet. Uh, but not strong enough to hurt you if you have a pacemaker or something like that. So have no fear with that. They just seed into these clips and they seed into necklaces. They have watches, they have lanyards. Uh, so you can just choose whatever you want off your medallion class app. Now have no fear if your medallions, for whatever reason, don't happen to find you at home. They usually send them to you at home. And that's why I say this is gonna go in my carry-on. Uh, you can pick them up at the port. There's no big deal. They can make them for you at the port. It's not, not a problem. But when you go to embarkation day, go ahead and clip your, clip your medallion on or put your medallion on or have it with you. And that will make check-in that much easier for you guys. But I just wanted to show you some of the different clips I've gotten through the years. And I do believe that all of these are still available. Uh, my husband has like, uh, my friend got him a, a almost like a pewter colored one, which it's, it's, it's like a dark, his wedding band is the same color that she noticed, you know? And uh, so she got him one of those. He and I both have the silver clip. And then I also have a blue clip because you know, it's all about what I have to be color coordinated, y'all. <laughs> you know, I've got a pink clip, you know, and, and it's very easy to change the, change the medallions from one, you know, from one clip to the other. As I said, they just seed right in very easily for you. And then boop, you clip on and you're, you're off. And now my clip matches my necklace and my shirt, you know, and I'm good to go in my pink clip. But I have purple and black and blue. And that covers about all of my outfits. And then the silver, if I want to dress it up a little bit. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the medallion and the clips and, uh, you know, the different ways that they have that you can, you know, available that you can wear them. So I love having the medallion. It just, it's so much better than the card. I think so much better. So that's the first thing I wanted to tell you about was just the medallion. As I said, I take three of these grand cosmetic bags. The first one is for medications. Uh, I don't take any prescription medication, but I do take vitamins, 
take a little Metamucil. I take, uh, you know, I also get migraines, so I, I'm sure to have uh, Advil because that's what I combat my migraines with. I take, uh, I do take a little bit of cold medicine just in case I, you know, come, I usually take Afrin for, spray and uh, some Benadryl. We usually take Benadryl, you know, just something to combat, a, a, you know, the regular old cold. You know, I take Imodium. Uh, you know, just in case we have some kind of issues like that, you know, you're eating richer food, you never know how it's going to hit your belly, right? You know, so that's what that will be what is held in here, that kind of thing. And I always do try to take a, a little bit of extra something, especially, you know, not that we're having to quarantine for that long right now, any for any longer, but I would take enough medication to get me at least five extra days over and beyond my cruise, you guys. So I would take what I need for my cruise and then I would take, I plan on packing an extra five days of, you know, my medicines of the day, you know, just so, just in case, just in case something were to happen, we were to get COVID and have to be quarantined or whatever. I never worry about getting COVID. I've been on many cruises. We were, the last cruise we were on was March of 2020. Uh, and then we just did a cruise this January. Uh, I haven't gotten COVID yet. Knock on wood, thank goodness. I was really sick when I got home, tested several times, was not, it was not COVID. So I was grateful. Anyway, other things I will carry in this bag include a pop-up laundry basket. Uh, we actually ordered one. I'm going to actually, this one is finally going to kick the bucket today, but I kept it here because it didn't come from Amazon. It's supposed to come today and it didn't get here in time. But this is a pop-up laundry basket. On Princess Ships, you... Uh, there are laundromats on most of the passenger cabin decks. And right now on the Grand Princess in January, it was actually free to use. They had tokens sitting in the laundromat. Don't quote me on that though. I do not know whether that will be the same thing on your ship. And I don't even know whether it will be the same on the Grand Princess when we climb on there in September, y'all. I don't know why they were offering it for free, so to speak, but regardless, I always do at least one or two loads of laundry when we're cruising. I don't have to take as many clothes that way. And because they offer the laundry facilities, why not? You know, we're also, I don't know whether you noticed my black uh, medallion there, we also are elite and we can get our laundry done for free and have the, the crew do it. But we, I choose not to do that with my laundry just because I don't want them to, I'm tall and I'm kind of chunky bunky, you know, I'm a little fluffy and I don't want my clothes to shrink and not be able to wear them again. So I tend to do my own laundry and hang, like I hang this shirt to dry, for instance. You know, I don't want it in a dryer, so that kind of thing. But anyway, I always take a pop-up laundry basket. I take my own Tide Pods and I take downy sheets too. I don't have any of them sitting here, but I do take Tide Pods and downy sheets and the downy sheets do double duty. I not only use them in the laundry, but I also put them in the drawers in the stateroom and that you would not believe how much just something like that, something little like that would freshen up a drawer. When you open up a drawer and you go, oh, you know, that fresh smell, wonderful, wonderful, fresh smell of, you know, a dryer sheet. So little tip there, one of my little tips and tricks, but let me show you this and I will link uh, one like this. I think I'm getting a blue one in uh, the Amazon storefront, but it just pops open. <laughs> Do it away from yourself because it's kind of crazy. And then you just open it up and you can put your Tide Pods or whatever in the little basket on the side. This poor thing is decrepit. This is, you can see, I obviously take this. Uh, Chris pulled it down to the laundry room and he had to fix it. The last time he's got the, the one handle tied on here, this handle was broken. So we really needed a, a new one. It won't stay closed very easily anymore, as compact as we like it. But we put this up in the closet. You know, we set this up in the closet. I am really not one for caring to have dirty laundry laying all over the place or even in the bottom of the closet or in the corner of the bathroom or something like that. I like to be able to put it in a little laundry basket. This thing is so light, it doesn't even weigh, I don't even, it weighs like air. It weighs nothing, you guys. So, but it's, it saves my stress level, <laughs> big time, <laughs> to have that in the closet, you know? And so that is, and then my Tide Pods and my downy sheets will go in here too. Uh, what else I have in here 
is I take, uh, I've had ladies over the years that make me little thank you notes. And there are times all your gratuities are taken out of your uh, cruise fare on with Princess in the United States anyway. And we never touch those gratuities. A lot of people remove the gratuities, which I don't agree with, but that's neither here nor there. And that's a conversation for another day. But we sometimes choose to tip over and above what the gratuities are taken out. For instance, with our steward. And what I will do is write him a little thank you note. And like I said, I've had a couple of ladies over the years who have made me these cute little, um, little notes that you can just, this is just a little envelope. I can just, you know, fold a bill up and put it in there and, and, uh, you know, write them a little thank you note and say, thank you so much for all you did for us. Da, 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 and here's a little gift, you know? So I take just a little package of these to hand out to whom, whomever I feel went about over and above. And yes, I do tip. And this is not, I, I'm not saying this to have any kind of debate with anybody about whether or, or not to tip. I, it's a, that is a total personal choice uh, that I would never think one way or the other about anybody if they choose to or not to. Um, Barbara, for instance, she I, I know she tips over to mom, but she also takes chocolate. The crew loves chocolate. I just learned this after over 20 cruises. I'm just now learning that the crew loves. So when we went to Walmart in Hawaii, I actually got a bag of Hershey's chocolates and was handing them out and they loved them. Love them. They weren't able to get off the ship back then in January. They were, nobody was able, none of the crew was able to disembark. So they really appreciate it. Uh, other things I have in here is a little, a little first aid kit. I've got band-aids and um, a little Neosporin, you know, just some gauze, uh, some alcohol swabs, that kind of thing. Uh just in case, you know, you have a, a new shoe, for instance, that, that rubs your heel, you know, and you don't want to have to go down to the sundry shop and buy a Band-Aid for, you know, an appendage or whatever they would charge you. It doesn't cost anything and it doesn't, or doesn't weigh anything and it doesn't cost you anything, but it might save you money on the ship to have a little packet, have a little care package like that with you. Also, same goes for a little sewing kit. Um, this is really cute, and Princess used to give them out, uh, but I haven't seen them lately. So what's in here is just, you know, a little sewing kit, a little thread, even, even a thimble, and a little measuring tape, and scissors, and you know, you need to pack this in your checked bag, obviously. It also came with straight pins and safety pins, so and even a seam ripper. Now, what in the world would you need a seam ripper for? But you never know, I guess. So anyway, I just bought this off of Amazon. Again, all of this stuff is from Amazon. So easily found in my Amazon storefront. So we got that. And what else do I have in here? I have a fan that one of my, I won't need this in Alaska probably, but I take this on uh, some of my Caribbean cruises or other warm warm weather cruises. I always keep one of these. She gave us, I don't know how many she gave us each. But <laughs> I had just still have this in here. A uh, little visine. Uh, this is a Gorilla Glue, just in case something uh, were to happen and needed to be glued. Take a little bit of that, which is nothing more than uh, a very heavy duty um, uh, super glue, you know. I also take, uh, I usually put these in my carry on, but shout to go. You know, if you get a little something on your shirt, these work. Just, you know, little common sense things that, uh, so that's the kind of thing that I have in this bag. And the only other thing that will go on here would be um, the medications that I spoke about and the pop-up laundry basket. And that'll fill this bag up. And all three of these bags will be measured and, me you know, I'll measure the weight. I always take a uh, scale, a luggage scale, and I measure every single bag. And I, you know, I, I never take my bags over 50 pounds. And I'll get to this more when I, uh, when we talk about luggage and so on. But I do weigh every single, every single thing that I pack. And that weighs 0.6 pounds. 
not even a pound. Of course, it'll have other things in it. <laughs> okay, so that's one of those bags. Now, in the other bag, in a cruise ship, there are things that I know that I put on the shelves in the shower and on the sink. There's, there's shelving at the sink and in the shower. And this bag will hold everything that stays in the bathroom. Uh, that way, when I'm emptying my cosmetic bag or when I'm cleaning things out, I know when I, when I clean that this will be the bag and I'll remember which bag is which, that this will be the bag because it always is this bag, you know, because I've cruised for many times and it's always this bag. If you needed to label a bag, you could sure do that. Some of the things I have in here uh, are an extra soap dish. I always take my own soap. I don't care for their uh, soap. The princess does provide shower gel and shampoo and conditioner and pumps in their shower. I don't care for their stuff. That's just me again. Uh, my hair does not do well with their shampoo and conditioner and I don't care for their soap. So anyway, I take my own soap. So I take a soap dish and I just open the soap dish up and put it in the shower, you know. And I take a room, this is a warm luxe cashmere. This smells delightful. Concentrated room spray. And I leave this in the bathroom for times, you know, when we need to freshen up the smell of the bathroom. That comes in handy. And I take my shower or my hair gel. Where's my hair gel? It's in here somewhere. My hair gel, and this is an, uh, a, a conditioner that I spray on my hair from Redken, uh, One United. So I take, I condition in the shower, yes, and then I condition when I put my hair gel on and I, and I use this. And these are things that I know I need to use in the bathroom when I get out of the shower before I go sit at the vanity in the room to do my makeup and to dry my hair and to curl my hair. But these are the things that I will do in the bathroom. So these things will go in this specific bag. So when I take this bag in the bathroom, everything in this bag, I can empty onto the shelves in the bathroom. You get what I'm, where I'm going with this now? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, you guys. I also have uh, my, my shampoo that I take. I take several different types uh, because I don't always use the same shampoo. I use a Pantene, I use Verb and I use a Redken. So I take I take all three, to be honest, uh, but I take them in these little travel uh, containers that you can get off of Amazon. I have them linked as well. I also take a shower cap, disposable shower cap. I've got different ones uh, linked. I couldn't find these, and I, so I've linked a different kind in there, which worked just as well. But I take a shower cap, then I have one of these little clips, again, linked in the Amazon shop. And all you do is you put it around, you know, the uh, towel rack in the closet and you pull it through, tighten it, and then you can hang your shower cap on the hook and know right where it is. So I don't wash my hair every day because it's colored. You know, so I take those two things. I take an extra thing of tissues. I take my toothbrush and my toothpaste goes in here. I don't have that in here right now. I take um, crust uh, whitening strips. I take a little bit of gold bond powder, you know, and uh, that's about it. That's about all that will go in here. You can see it's not a very heavy bag. Uh, uh, you know, again, I'm, I will add, this will be a holder of overflow, uh, for some things too, but this, will, this is typically not a extremely heavy bag, but I like to have it separated so that I'm not getting confused with my cosmetics and having to run back and forth from the bathroom to the bedroom, you know, or to the vanity area. So there is that. Then I have my cosmetic bag and this sits out in the, uh, at the desk area or vanity area, however you want to call it. Also in the bathroom, they don't have a regular outlet in the bathroom that will work a hair dryer or a curling iron. 
Uh, the only place you can really dry your hair or curl your hair or flat on your hair, or whatever you do with your hair, is at the vanity out in the, you know, where the bed, bed is. And uh, they do have an outlet in the bathroom, but they say it's only for men's razors. And I have heard that some people have put uh, night lights in there and that a night light will shine in there. But to be very careful, make it make sure it's a low wattage. And uh, and don't don't try to use it for other things that won't work, you guys. So now some of the things, you know, this is just my cosmetics. These are things that I keep in this bag all the time at the ready. Uh, because I take them on every cruise. I did put a new razor in last night, a razor. I, I found these lovely uh, little uh, perfume holders. One is the holder of Innis, and the other is the holder of Happy, which is my everyday, my everyday um, perfume is the Happy. And then I also have Happy Lotion, Clinique Happy Lotion, and I have the Ennis Lotion too. This smells so broke. Both of these things I use year round, mostly happy, mostly happy every day. Uh, but I do like the Ennis too. Uh, it's a nice fresh smell, similar to happy, but different, you know. Uh, of course, Q-tips. I take, uh, well, these should be in the other one. I take these little, you know, uh, I'm gonna put that in this one because it doesn't go with this bag. I got it mixed up. Needs to be, that needs to stay in the bathroom. And uh, this is a little bag that I put my brushes in, all my makeup brushes in. And yes, my makeup brushes are little. They fit in there just fine. Take a makeup blender beauty blender. And uh, I have travel size mascara. I use um, high impact mascara from Clinique. And I just got this the other day. I got this from the uh, Vera outlet. This is a lipstick holder. Uh, I thought I had some lipstick here. And this will actually hold four lipsticks, which is pretty much all the colors I need. Uh, and this will be put right in this basket or in this bag too. And I do have this that I do use sometimes. And this is a, uh, they do have better choices for these nowadays that you can plug in and recharge. And if I can find one of those, I will link that in my Amazon shop. Uh, this one takes batteries and this is a mirror. It is a makeup mirror. The mirror is far away from you, you know? And so it's kind of nice to have a magnifying mirror, you know, where you can put your eye makeup on or whatever and a regular mirror with a little light, you know, right there in your bag. It's not super heavy. And I've used this a lot on the cruise ships. Q-tips, you know, and uh, that's all I have in here right now. Oh, my dramatically different lotion. I always take that. That's what I use under my foundation morning and night. And uh, that's it for now. That's all I have in here for now. You know, this will sit out in my bathroom until the morning we leave. This will be the last bag to be packed. All of my makeup, uh, you know, my foundation, my eye makeup, my mess, no, not my mascara, but my eye shadow, uh, eyebrow, pencil, whatever else will go in this bag. So, this is definitely a must have. So those are the three main bags that I take with me. I don't take a lot of extra bags. I take a, a jewelry bag and I take a, uh, a couple of other things that I will show you right now. So this is my jewelry case uh, and this is from 31 and this is a very old bag. I don't know whether they sell this anymore. If I can find it, I will link this for you. My daughter got this for me. I can hang this if I want. I don't. I usually keep it, you know, at the, at the desk area in the room, but it's really nice. It's got all the different, uh, zippers. You can put earrings up here or hang necklaces. Uh, these both have, oops, did I zip it shut? These both have, uh, 
all of the pockets have a divider in them. So you can put earrings in the back, a necklace in the front if you want, and so on. This is very nice. It folds down super flat too, which is what I like about it too. It doesn't take up a lot of room. So now there are some cruises where I will only take a small, um, which I don't even have one out here to show you, but then I'll just take a small cosmetic or a jewelry bag. I, I don't take a big one like this on every cruise that I do. You know, there are some shorter cruises that I might just only want to take two or three changes if that. A lot of people just wear the same necklace and earrings and bracelets the whole week. You know, I normally do switch out for my outfits. But uh, the other thing that I had to take for the first time in January was, you know, masks. I will say I have quite a number of masks in here. This was from Princess. Uh, this is one that I got for, um, on board the princess ship, which I really, I really like that one. Uh, but they provided N95 masks for us every day. So we tended to wear those. Uh, although I do have a couple of blingy masks in here that I wore on um, formal night. I did wear, and they have the, you know, they cover nicely, you know, but, uh, I do not know whether masking will still be necessary when we go, but I have it all packed and ready to go just in case. I also bought uh, lanyards to clip on to the masks because they could go on and off so much, you know, you don't have to wear them to eat or drink, obviously, you could take them off. And these just click on, clip on to the, you know, to the mask. And, you know, you take it, have it around your neck and there it's right there at the ready, you know, when you need it to put on. So I have all this packed and ready to go just in case I still need it. I'll probably take it, throw it in. Doesn't weigh that much at all. This is another Vera Grand. These are the more updated Grand cosmetic bags. So uh, I'll take that for sure. Uh, and I do have one more bag that I wanted to talk to you about. This is the holder of magnets. Did you know that the walls and all the staterooms are metal? And therefore you can use magnets to hang up, say for me in Alaska, my maps, one from my cruise companion book and one that uh, the park rangers give out, or actually princess gives it out. They, the park rangers give it to princess of Glacier Bay. I put both of those maps up. I also hang baseball caps up. I hang excursion tickets up. I hang a myriad of stuff up in the room. And these are just some of my magnets that I've used you know, throughout the years, these are all of my Alaska <laughs> magnets. Got many in here. I don't know that I'll need to take all these. These are just my Alaska ones. Uh, I do also wanted to tell you too, uh, you can, and I have these linked and the, not exactly like these. The ones I have linked are better. These are old, you guys, but the concept remains the same. Uh, I have 25 pound uh hook magnets linked in my Amazon shop. And these are good to hang those baseball caps, to hang your crossbody purse. I take a crossbody purse that I'll show you another time. Crossbody purse uh, to keep my cell phone in because I, I like to keep my phone with me now that they have the medallion net and it's the best. I, I just love that stuff. You know, so I do take a couple of, of the hooks like that, magnet hooks, along with just, you know, the dress, you know, the, the fun magnets. I also take family magnets, you know, this still has Sam on it. I'm going to get one made up before we go. Maverick, our grandson, who, who uh, was, is just turned two last week. So, but this is our girls and Samson, uh, our Newfoundland dog, who's no longer with us, but, uh, so these get hung up too, just, you know, to take a little bit of family with me. <laughs> and 
that you guys just about does it. I did want to talk about one other bag here. Morphing in um, here with just a couple of more things. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll get back to our regularly scheduled program in just a minute. I wanted to show you just a couple of cross body bags that I carry while when on the ship. Uh, Barbara, my dear friend, and Pat, their friend, made this beautiful little bag for me a long time ago, many, many years ago. And it fits the, your smartphone in there perfectly, wonderfully fine. And it is a lovely crossbody bag. Also, this is my guardian bell that my friend Pat gave me that goes on every cruise with us. All my stewards always laugh. We can hear Miss Arlene coming. We can hear you coming. <laughs> also, I got this little crossbody bag. This is a Brighton. I got it on one of the ships. Uh, same kind of concept. This one has a place for your credit cards. This one actually, she, she sent a, an insert with this for credit cards uh, or whatever. But yeah, this fits the smartphone and a lipstick is pretty much all it fits. Um, but it is a nice little crossbody bag. Got that. Also, another thing that I love to take with me is a lit uh, a travel clock. I don't have the batteries in it right now. It takes a couple of uh, double A batteries, but I keep this up at my uh, table side. And uh, I like to, when I wake up at night, I like to be able to see what time it is without having to pick up my phone and be blinded by the light, you know? So I use one of these clocks. And now I think that's it. I also take a glasses clay case that doesn't, I don't have one out here with me. I will show one to you just to hold my, uh, you know, my glasses that I use to read with, you know, and I put them in the glasses case when I turn my light out and you know right where they are. <laughs> so, all right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> Very quickly. One, I always take a bag to take extra Ziploc bags in because you never know when you're gonna need gallon size or um, quart size, especially quart size, Ziploc bags if you need to take liquids onto the plane with you and so on. I always take a little, just a little, this is a little pencil case from Vera. I just take a, uh, some extra Ziploc bags. I always take an umbrella. This is a, a Vera umbrella too. I always, especially to Alaska, you're in a rainforest when you're in that inside passage. So I always take an umbrella. To tell you about that. Uh, I also have uh, curling iron uh, cases here. I take two curling irons and so I have those. Uh, but I wanted to show you just one other little bag and it, and it can be any little makeup bag. The night before you disembark your cruise, if you have any kind of transfers, either through Princess or with an independent transfer company, or if you're even a walk-off, well, no, not if you're a walk-off. If you're a walk-off, you'll keep your luggage, all your luggage with you, and you will have to handle all your luggage. Uh, but we usually have a transfer of some sort to the airport. So I need to have a bag that I will tell you about when I get to my packing tips and tricks. But since I have this bag out here, I wanted to show you this. This is a little cosmetic bag that I take that is just that just holds what I need for the morning of disembarkation. You know, a, a, a mascara, a lipstick, a, a eyeshadow, a, a travel toothbrush, travel toothpaste, whatever I need for that morning, I put in this little bag. And then this little bag will go into another case that I will show, another bag that I will show you at a different time. I'm gonna keep this out here actually uh, to show, to revisit that. But I wanted to show you that little bag. Uh, just just to say that, uh, that it's one thing that I do on disembarkation morning to have a little bag like that. One time I, I went and I went like, well, for crying out loud, I don't have anything to put all my little uh, makeups that I just kept back for myself, a little travel hairspray, you know, that kind of thing. Um, also, too, you will be able to get to your suitcase again before it's put on the transport, unless you are going to Seattle and using the port valet there. If you uh, are using a transport, say, at Vancouver or at Whittier or even at San Francisco, you if you're using a princess transfer or an individual tra or an independent transfer, you will revisit your bags before you have to hand them off at the airport. So you don't have to, they don't have to be travel size necessarily. I make sure that they're small because I want them to fit, you know, in whatever bag I keep back for, you know, to carry off that morning. So anyway, 
too much to go into. And I have talked way longer than I thought I would. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I'm sorry this one was so long. Hopefully I can cut it down. But if not, uh, I hope you've stuck with me a little bit here. <laughs> uh, and, you know, you see that I don't, I take extra things, but extra things that are necessities for me, you know, like the laundry basket and so on. So, but anyway, I'm going to shut this one down for now. And this will end my first in the series, my new travels, updated travel series. So again, thank you guys so much for stopping in here. My next one up will probably be what's in my carry on. And I'll show you some different carry on bags, Vera bags. There will all be Vera bags probably that I've used through the years. And what I've settled on is my favorite. Uh, that'll probably be coming up later on in the week. I wanted to get this up this weekend because July 4th is Monday. So happy July 4th to all who celebrate. And uh, let me just go into some final words. Uh, for those of you who might be just stopping in here and have never heard these words, I feel like they were gifted to me. And I say them at the end of every video, or I try to. And uh, because I feel like they are meant for somebody out there to hear. So here we go. Again, thank you all for stopping in here. Subscribe if you would. Hit that subscribe button no matter which channel you're you're watching me on. I'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button. I'm not monetized on my travels. I am monetized on my Country Craft Corner. Either one, both. Click click that subscribe button. Click you like it and share with your friends and family, please. <laughs> for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, <laughs> y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.